You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Let's bless the Lord for this beautiful day. We have been reflecting on the gospel according to St. Mark for the past few days. Today and in the coming weeks, we will listen to St. Matthew's story about Jesus. In his accounts, St. Matthew wants the Jews to understand that Jesus is not only king, but he is also the long-awaited and prophesied Messiah. What is interesting in St. Matthew's accounts is his emphasis on the demands of Christian discipleship. Today, he presents one of the five long discourses of Jesus, the Sermon on the Mount, which consists mainly of the qualities expected of a follower of Jesus. But of course, we are all familiar with the Beatitudes, aren't we? And I'm sure we have heard this gospel reading many times before. I like the idea of Sister Bernie Dianson, the writer of the Gospel Power, who said that the Beatitudes imply that to be happy is to accept the reality that life is hard. What a paradox! How can we be satisfied amidst hardship? But I agree with her when she said, The world in which we live is not a utopia, but more of a valley of tears. It is true, our life is not a bed of roses. Perhaps there are those of us who experience a lap of luxury. Still, it's either short-lived or the experience mingles with a certain complexity and therefore there is still that sense of emptiness and incompleteness. So blessed indeed are those who can accept suffering, failures, and loss as they come. And blessed are those who deny human nature and resist the common temptation to run away in pursuit of some fleeting happiness. For indeed, theirs is the promise of a more lasting joy, both on earth and with the hopes of a heavenly reward. Speaking of the ninth beatitude, blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. A relative of mine shared an experience. Her office mate, she said, 
often criticizes her for quoting the scripture each time this co-employee does uncharitable acts towards others in the office. She said it hurts being yelled at and bowled out, but her experience and patient endurance make her feel good and happy, convinced that she is doing something for God's sake. So he told her to carry on and remember what St. Peter said, But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear. Do not be shaken. That's from the first letter of Peter, chapter 3, verse 14. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.